up, ladies. It's Girl Code. On this episode of Girl Code, get your hands at 10 and 2. We're talking about driving. Then it happens to all of us. We're talking about feeling fat. But first, it's time to bob and weave, and we're not talking about hair. Girl fights can be anything from a screaming match to a fist fight to mental warfare. Or it's all in our heads. It's a lot of bickering, 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 and then someone gets really hurt, and it becomes really dramatic, and then all of her flock of bitches come, and she, they're all like, I can't believe she said that. Part of the reason girls fight is because we all just want a little drama. We want our lives to emulate movies, or I do. You know a girl is pissed off angry when she's doing this when she talks, like she's Mariah Carey in the booth, like you don't even know, like this is your fault, you are to blame, I'm not to blame, this is you. Everybody's mama is off limits. Girl fights are a lot like this, like puppy dog slapping. <laughs> or some hair pulling. Ah! Or you can go for the earring, it's pretty effective. I'm used to the windmill, it's like a windmill thing. Protect your face. You gotta learn how to duck, bob, and weave. If you don't know how to do a lot of this, you gotta know how to do a lot of this. You can go for the punch, just know that you're gonna feel it back. Ow! Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when I hit Gretchen, the same force with which I hit her arm, her arm also hit me which is why I hurt both of us when I punched her. Sometimes when I ask a question in physics class, I tear up a little. Is that weird? And now it's a topic that makes you want to lose it. We're talking about weight. Girls are completely and utterly obsessed with weight. Gaining it, losing it, everything about it. There's this perception that if we put a person that's a size eight from America, that the whole country's gonna projectile vomit. We live in a fudged up society. It's so fudged up. The pressure we put on appearance. There's this whole thing where like, you wanna be thin, you wanna be pretty, but then there's pizza. For me, my weight goes straight to my thighs. Blech. 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 When I was born, I was so small. Do you know what I mean? I would like eight pounds, eight pounds. And ever since then, I haven't been able to get back to that weight. It's been nothing but weight gain. If you're gaining weight and you want to stop, girls try dieting. I'm on a cleanse, a total cleanse. It doesn't sound like a cleanse. It sounds like you're starving yourself. I'm like, when am I gonna get a cheeseburger? I want that cheeseburger. I'm only at 500 calories. That cheeseburger is 700 calories. I can eat that cheeseburger. Most people don't want to hear about your diet. Just shut up and eat your lettuce and be sad. If you're like me and you actually like food, try hitting the gym. Right. You wanna get the booty? Hit the gym, like some squat thrusts. <laughs> I stopped going to the gym when I almost fell off the treadmill twice. First I kind of almost fell off and the second time I just wiped out and a very cute guy came to help me up and I was like, nope, nope, shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. I don't go to the gym anymore. So when I feel fat, I just decrease my normal force. Gretchen, I feel so fat. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Does this look not that bad to you? Oh, well, um, let's just take a ride down on the elevator and you can step on the scale and you'll feel much better. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. Okay. Going down. This is an elevator problem. First, I'll start off by drawing a free body diagram, this dot representing the mass of the person, this downward arrow showing mass times gravity, mg, and the force of tension upwards. The net force equals mass times acceleration, which is the force of tension, minus the force of gravity, which is really just the weight. In the elevator, Amelia initially accelerates downwards until returning to a constant velocity. This causes her weight to register less from 148 to 137 in a moment as seen here. Then returning to her constant negative velocity, this scale reads 148 pounds because she is affected only by the negative 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration of gravity. When the elevator stops at the bottom, Amelia is momentarily being pushed into the scale, causing the scale to show 160 pounds instead of 148. <sighs> when we get even numbers for homework, I can't.
And now we're breaking down driving. To be a good driver, you have to be focused and you have to know all the signs, which there are so many signs. I just hit so much Like, doof doof, doof doof, doof doof, and off, fudge it. Guys have created the myth that girls are bad drivers, but we can drive just as well and we can multitask. We can do our makeup, text, drink our coffee, and drive all at the same time. What should you keep in your car? Well, every girl should have at least an outfit in your car. Toothbrush, regular brush, lip gloss, textbooks, water bottles, a little bit of everything. Let's pick your closet. When you are running late, never underestimate what you can get done in the car. I do my makeup in the car, I brush my teeth in the car, I brush my hair in the car, I eat breakfast in the car, I can get dressed in the car, I can even touch up my roots in the car and be fine with it. Newton's first law states that an object in motion tends to stay in motion, while an object at rest tends to stay at rest, unless acted upon by an outside force. Yeah, so when we were in the car, yep, the car, all right, we're in the car, the car is going at a constant velocity, and we independently inside the car are also going at that velocity. When the car stops, however, we keep going because of inertia, and that's why Caroline messes up her makeup. That's it for this episode of Girl Code. Thanks for watching! I don't know! I'm done. <laughs> Part of the reason girls fight is because. <laughs> Gretchen! <laughs> Try hitting the gym! This is all natural. Oh. Creepy eye thing. <laughs> we can do our makeup, text. I was about to say drink and drive. <laughs> hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. Well, here's my number. Don't say a word, just turn around and look something special for me. Shoot me, do me. It's a pop, 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 sir, down all over town. For you and me. Now, come over here, boy. Come down, over down. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> how much time do I have, Doc? <laughs> Doc, how much time do I have left? <laughs> Doc! <laughs> how much time do I have, Doc? Two. Two what? Two weeks, two hours, two days, two months, two years? Two. <laughs> two what? <laughs> the process. Get me the ice chips! <laughs> they see me rolling.